Wagwan, Wagwan, welcome to the DIY Yardy channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. In this video today, I'm working on a BMW, the 745 Li. It's a 2005, and the issue is having it's a P0492 secondary air injection system bank two, which means uh, there's a clog in the intake. Uh, secondary secondary air system so to get this problem fixed what we're going to need tools to work on this job is the 10 millimeter socket uh, 3 8 drive ratchet uh, extensions half inch drive extensions long and short spark plug tools the 27 t27 torx flat screwdriver this tool which is called the AGA tool which is used to clean the port that is clogged and this is what the tool looks like and a drill and some intake valve cleaner okay so getting into the job this piece here just snaps off it's a, it's a part of the engine cover that just snaps off this top uh, middle piece of the engine the T27 Torx will pull the bolts for this one I've, I've already you know pulled the bolts so I'm just taking the parts out. Um, this piece of weather strip that goes across the back of the engine. And next we have to remove this little hood sensor or switch. Then there are four 10 millimeter bolts that hold that little, um, it's kind of like a heat shield behind the engine. So there are two 10 millimeter bolts on each side, four in all. And also there's a T27 bolt, but in order to get to it, we have to remove the air filters. So I'm gonna show you um, where that T27 bolt is. But let me get the, these air filters out of here. There's one on each side of the engine, okay? So there's a clip down in here that you have to um, unhook and then the filter will just pop up. Okay, so put the screwdriver down and push back on the clip and just lift up on the air filter. There we go. Okay, so now the T27 bolt that I'm telling you about, there's one on each side of this, in, of this um, heat shield. It's up under here, but we have to get it from the back, from the other side where the air filter is located. Okay, that's actually hit you're looking at right there, but this is the head of it right here. Okay, so T27 um, Torx will pull that out, and like I said, there's one on each side. All right, so got that out, so now I'm going to have to remove that shield, remove that heat shield from there. Just going to pull on it and wiggle it, wiggle it uh, out of there. All right. So, next thing is this duck, which is part of the um, air air, air uh, filtration system. You're gonna pop up on the, let's see that little silver piece across there? Use a screwdriver, push up on that, and push down on the duck, and it'll just unlock. That's it. Now, from this point, we're going to take a look at what we're trying to get to. That shiny piece that you see down there attached to the valve, that is the line that we have to remove in order to access the, cl the clogged port. All right. So now it's a uh, 10 millimeter bolts that hold, holds that line in place. And before we do that, we have to remove the plugs and the coils. So on this car the coils are just like um, stuck in place. So you unhook the top that clip that you see there you push back until it clicks and then the plug the socket will just unplug from the coil. So push up all the way up till it clicks and then just unplug the socket. That's it. Alright I'm gonna do that to all of them 
and then once that is done you pull up on the coil like I said it's, it's, there's no bolt that holds the coil in the engine it's just uh, fitted in there so you might have to use you know like something with a little bit of leverage to help you get them out of there all right well I got the coils out so now I'm removing the spark plugs and the reason for removing the spark plugs is this whole uh, system is connected the port that is clogged the cylinders they all work in combination together so I'm gonna be putting the um, valve cleaner down in that port so in order pr to prevent a uh, vapor lock of the engine I remove all the plugs that way once I'm you know done doing the cleaning I can crank the engine over as well as blow compressed air so this is the piece that I removed that's what it looks like it actually took me a couple hours to get that out of there because it's it's really down in there kinda hard to get to not enough space you know had the engine been out of the car it would have been you know no problem job but you don't want to remove the engine just to do this job that's, that's too much okay so this is a tool AGA tool this is what it looks like so those are the instructions and how to use it and I'm going to show you the way see the way it's shaped this bend here it, it's shaped pretty much similar to the piece that I removed so this is the tool is going to be inserted in where that pipe came from and it's, it's going to work sort of like when you're um, um, doing like a drain cleaning it's a similar kind of thing okay so the the brush attaches to this cable and make sure that when you attach the brush to the cable you can see it has like a little screw it screws in there so make sure that you find the, the proper tools which I, I can't remember exactly but I you know just make sure you tighten it on there okay because if you're using a drill you make sure you tighten that that little brush tip to the cable you know with it with the proper tools so that it doesn't fall off inside your cylinder head okay so make sure it's on there pretty tight alright so this, I'm just showing you here how it works with a drill it will be spinning inside and with the um, valve cleaning solution you're gonna be putting in there okay there we go I'm actually cleaning it right now okay I'm, I'm working the drill back and forth okay so periodically what I do is I'll spray some uh, cleaner in there and actually being that I can't see inside this um, this tube I actually use the entire can of cleaner on this one side okay so if you're doing both sides you're gonna need two cans okay so I'm gonna show you in a second Okay, so stop for a little. I spray some of the cleaner in there. And, you know, do a generous amount. Because remember, you know, once once we're done with with the, with the um, cleaning, or you know, once we're done doing that, we're gonna use compressed air to blow into the hole to try to blow as much of that um, cleaner out as long with whatever dirt you know that might have been you know cleaned out by this process I'm doing right now so you wanna make sure take out your plugs remove the plugs and blow through you know with compressed air once you're done so here's here's what it looks like. This is the hole in the back of the block or a cylinder head that I've been, you know, this this is where I've been cleaning. So this is what it looks like. I don't have a camera to go up inside. You know, that would be good if I did cuz I could see how good a job it was that I cleaned. You know, but that's that's what it looks like kind of best best picture I can get cuz it's a tight space. Okay? 
should have did a before and after. Okay, so now I'm going to put the pipe back. All right, and like I said, the space that you have to work with is very tight, and it's two 10 millimeter bolts that hold this pipe in place, and then another two two longer uh, 10 millimeter bolts that hold a valve connected to the top of this pipe. So that hole that you see, or that little bracket connected to this pipe, that's one of the holes that um, holds the, the pipe in place, so it, it actually holds the pipe and the transmission dipstick in place. Okay, so like I said, it's a very tight fit back there. This is what it looks like once I got it back in place. All right, it actually it took me <laughs> like another hour to get this in and to tighten it up. Okay, so you know, I, I work on cars all the time. If you're gonna do this job, I suggest you give yourself a day or two, okay? Because like I said, it's a very tight fit. Got it back together, the car is running good. It's been cleared, been driven for a few days now and no code, so I think we got it kicked, okay? This is the DIY Yachty. Please like, share, and subscribe.